Hi everyone, it's Vicky Thelney, the Mind Body Food Coach. Thank you for joining me for today. We're going to be making some chocolate brown rice puff bites today. Uh, before we do that, I wanted to just explain a little bit about raw cacao. Uh, raw cacao is actually a very natural bean or seed or nut. It comes from the Theobroma cacao tree. It grows in a fruit pod on the trunk of the tree, not on the branches, and it is just a little bean. So any chocolate that you've ever eaten in your entire life has come from this one little tiny bean. And they look like that. And when you break that down, inside is a beautiful purpley colored bean that breaks into little nibs. And when you actually go and buy the cacao nibs, that's what you're getting. You're getting 100% chocolate out of the bean. That's all chocolate actually is in its origin, in its raw natural form where it starts from. And I started learning more about this a little while ago when I was doing some more raw nutrition study and developing a healthier relationship with food and easing some of my emotional attachments to food by first off learning what food actually is when it's broken down. And chocolate of course is something that we all love and we all have a lot of association of, of, of negative feelings with chocolate. And I wanted to take those negative feelings away. I wanted to create a healthier relationship for myself first and foremost with certain foods, chocolate being one of them. So when I learned about the origins of chocolate and how beneficial raw cacao actually is for you, I got so excited. And I got so excited, in fact, that I decided to create all kinds of different recipes. And that turned into developing a workshop that I started offering in my hometown. And it's just been tremendously popular. So many people have been coming along, learning about the benefits of raw cacao. And I put all this information in a booklet. Uh, the benefits of raw cacao, uh, number one being it's the number one plant source of antioxidants in the world. It has over 300 compound minerals. It has plenty of magnesium, tryptophan, chromium. It is packed full of so many good things that are good for your cellular nutrition and your, your cardiovascular health. It's just such a magnificent food. It is so awesome. So when I learned about this and I started collating this information and putting it in this, in this workbook and offering these, these workshops, more and more people were asking me for more recipes. And I started making more and more recipes at home and creating them. And this is really what's developed into an expanded and revised, updated version of the workbook for the workshops to an upcoming Easy Chocolate Delights ebook. So that's going to be coming up next month in July. In the meantime, I've been playing around with different recipes at home, creating them, making them, tasting them with my beautiful family who give me such fantastic feedback. Mwah, I love you all. And one of the things that I came up with last night, which just seemed to be a winner straight away, is so easy that I had to share it with you. It is so creamy, so delicious, and just so damn easy. So this is it here. It is just chocolate squares with some crunch in it. Really, that's all it is when you break it down. And it's just so yummy, but so easy. So I'm gonna show you how to make this today so that you can make it at home and then experiment and put some other things in it, take some things out, substitute. That's what I love to do with my recipes. I create them so that when you make them, you get a beautiful chocolate experience. However, I give you suggestions and I encourage you to play with it. Make your own concoctions. Really tailor your chocolate experience to your personal preference. And that's the beauty of it, particularly when you're using natural sweetness to go with it. And that's what I do for all of my chocolate recipes. It's all made from raw cacao or raw cacao components. It's all using natural sweetness. It's using superfoods, superfood powders, nuts, seeds, all kinds of good nutrient dense ingredients. So in today's chocolate brown rice puff bites, we're gonna be using some fantastic ingredients. Number one being coconut oil. So coconut oil, coconut butter, it's really the same thing. It just depends on the temperature. So obviously over a certain temperature, this is going to liquefy and under a certain temperature, it solidifies. So what you need to do is take about three quarters of a cup of melted coconut oil. 
So that's what I have here in my little glass bowl so that you can see what's going on inside. So I've got about three quarters of a cup of melted coconut oil. Now in traditional coconut, oh, sorry, chocolate making recipes, you've got two components of the cacao bean. You've got its natural oils just like any nut or seed. They've had the natural oils. So that's known as cacao butter. Okay, so that's that yellow solid butter that is actually from the cacao bean. The other part of the ingredients when that's broken down is the color and the flavor which is known as the cacao powder. So that's where you get your, your beautiful cacao chocolate powder which is 100% chocolate flavor. So when you want to make a, a good quality chocolate, the best way to do it is to use the ground down cacao beans that have naturally got a mix of the cacao butter and the cacao powder. It makes a superb quality chocolate. However, it's not essential that that is the only way you're allowed to make your chocolate. You're personalizing your chocolate. You're making it your own experience. So you don't have to use those two components when you just want to make a chocolate dish that's uniquely your own. So today we're not using the cacao butter. We're actually using a substitute oil, which is coconut oil. But what we are using is the, coke, is the cacao powder, okay? So once you've melted down three quarters of a cup of coconut butter or coconut oil, then you're gonna put a cup and a half, so one and a half cups of cacao powder, okay? So that's your chocolate flavor and color. Just simply add that into your coconut oil, add it all in there, and then just start mixing it around. Really good tip for this recipe is to make it fairly quickly because your coconut oil is only going to stay melted for so long, particularly if you live in cold climates like I do through winter. I actually live on a, a part of the Great Dividing Range and it's coming into winter here, so it's getting pretty cold outside. Even though it's a gorgeous day, the sun is just glorious. There's a, a beautiful breeze as well, but it's very chilly. So it gets quite cold up here. So really good idea if you do live in cold climates. Once you've melted your coconut oil, don't muck around. Get stuck into this and get it started. So that's melted in pretty well. You've just got your cacao powder melted into your coconut oil. All nice and mixed through. Beautiful color, beautiful texture. Really nice, smooth and creamy. Now, what we're going to do is add a couple of other dry ingredients before we add our sweetener. So number one, we're going to add some super powder. This comes from Peru, it's called mesquite powder. It is quite high in calcium and magnesium. It's low on the GI scale at about 25, so it's not going to escalate your blood sugar. And it's quite a high protein powder with a, a nice sweetness to it. It's not terribly sweet, but it does have a nice sweetness with a, a lovely hint of caramel. It's got a beautiful smell. It's not as soft textured as lacuma powder, for example, which is a lovely creamy powder that I also use in a lot of my chocolate recipes, but it's got a beautiful flavor, which really is going to enhance this chocolate experience while we're using the coconut oil. So your mesquite powder, and if you, if you don't have this, you can't get it, it's optional. You don't have to put this in. It just adds an extra component in your chocolate. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of mesquite powder, and just add that in. Now while we're at it, adding additional dry ingredients, we're going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. So a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. As you can see, I'm not measuring the cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'm just going to let it fall in there. Pink Himalayan salt, packed full of so many good minerals. Age-old salt, just good stuff. So a pinch of pink Himalayan salt, put that in there. And then we're going to put about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, you've all heard of vanilla essence. It's something that you know our parents, our grandparents would have used. But when you look at vanilla essence and you smell it, you taste it, and then you look at vanilla extract. Extract smells different, tastes different, and the flavor that you get when you're using it in your cooking is just beautiful. So, you know, if you want to go for the fake taste and smell, up to you. But if you want to go for the good stuff that doesn't have any added sugars, then vanilla extract is the way to go. So put a teaspoon of this in. If you really like vanilla, put two teaspoons in. I mean, put a whole capful if you want. Make it your own. It's your chocolate experience. 
So, then we're going to mix that through. Make it nice and creamy, just mixing it all through. Oh, this smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, 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 oh. Really good. Now we're nearly done. So this is a very quick, easy, one bowl chocolate making experience. And for those of you who've come along to the workshops before, uh, you know that I'm a one bowl, one food processor, one blender kind of woman. I like to make things really easy, quick and simple in the kitchen while I'm making beautiful, nutri nutritious, delicious, healthy, guilt-free food. And it's not just chocolate that I make. I love using whole, natural, colorful, plant-based foods to just, just experiment and make yummy, nutritious, delicious tasting food that my whole family can enjoy. Okay, so once you've mixed that through, we're gonna use our natural sweetener. Now this is not technically raw maple syrup. Maple syrup, because of its extraction process, isn't technically raw, okay? But if you don't like maple syrup, if you want to use raw honey instead, you absolutely can, all right? Just remember that all of your natural sweetness have different intensity of sweetness. So depending on what you're making, you might want to mix and match or use different sweeteners depending on how much you want to use and the kind of sweetness that you're after. So we're going to put about four to five tablespoons in this mix, depending on how sweet you like it. I'm quite, um, I don't really have a very, a very high sweet, uh, you know, inclination anymore. I just, uh, I don't crave it. I, I don't really miss sweet stuff at all. So there we go. I'm going to mix that through now. Now, it's really important to taste your chocolate before you finish. And even though we're not heating this, it's not as important as, as if we were melting this gently under 40 degrees over a bain-marie or on the stove top, you know, with a saucepan or, or a, a glass bowl over a saucepan with some water over the stove. If you are melting your chocolate that way, and it is actually warm when you're making your chocolate, then you've got to remember that when you put your sweetener in, that when the chocolate solidifies, you're going to lose a little bit of sweetness. So you want to make sure that when it's warm, everything's intense, the flavors are more intense. So you want to put just a slight bit of more sweetness to it than you would prefer so that when it solidifies and it sets, it's got the perfect amount of sweetness that you prefer. Alrighty, we're nearly done. Alright, this looks so good. Now, this is just... My coconut oil is, is uh, cooling off, but this is just such... A, it's just a, a beautiful, thick and creamy... Oh, thick and creamy chocolate mixture. It's just beautiful. There's only one thing left to do now and that is to put in our brown rice puffs. Now I put in about a cup, that's all they are, and you just tip them straight in, just mix them through. It's kind of like making chocolate crackles. Something that, that uh, when I think of, uh, especially from primary school, I just think of Kofa and that, that horrible taste in the back of my throat from Kofa making chocolate crackles. Long time ago. All right, so this is all we're doing. We're just mixing them all together. This is our crunch factor. And I want to show you this because this is the first time I've actually bought them. But um, do you like my little pink peg it was to help me remember what the brand was called? So this is Abundant Earth. I think it's a product of New Zealand. You can get corn and millet as well, but it's just a crunch factor. And I, I prefer brown rice. I like its, uh, its long-staining carbohydrates. Uh, and it's just 100% puffed brown rice, that's all it is. Really cheap, only a couple of bucks for this bag. So easy. You put that in, and if you want to, you can scoop this into some muffin trays in the little uh, paper cups, and you can make some chocolate crackles if you want to. Or, what I did was just put this into a Tupperware container. You can use a square one or a rectangular one, it doesn't matter. Pop it in. Just press it down, put it into the freezer for about 30 minutes or so until it sets. It won't take very long at all. Then take it out and tap upside down. If it's set properly, once you tap a couple of times, the block should just fall straight down onto the board. 
It's really important then to wait for about five minutes or so before you go slicing through your chocolate block. If you try and slice through when the block is too cold and solid, it's more likely to break. And if you want to cut into really nice, cute squares and make it all pretty, then you might want to wait for five or ten minutes just until it softens a little bit and you get a nice, clean cut. Then all you do is just simply cut it into blocks. There you go. That is it. So easy. You know, there's nothing in here that is bad for you. There's nothing that is refined and processed. It's all good ingredients, really good for selling your nutrition. It's going to stabilize your blood sugar, curb your cravings. You won't want to eat too much because you'll feel really satisfied from the intensity of the flavor of this chocolate. And it's just so damn easy to make. Now, if you wanted to before you put the brown rice crisps in, or, or you know, puffs I should say, you can add a little bit of more coconut oil and you can melt it down a little bit more if you want so you've got a nice thick and creamy chocolate sauce which can be great to pour over a yummy dessert that you might have in mind that would be great with the chocolate sauce or you can simply use it as a dipping sauce for cut up pieces of fruit like kiwi strawberry banana and just dip it in the kids will love it quick easy simple nutritious healthy delicious that's it thanks for watching today's recipe video in my home mind body food kitchen. I'm going to be doing some advanced chocolate making workshops here with a select group of people and I'm also going to be doing some whole food nutrition gourmet lunches making nut cheeses and salsas and seed loaf and all kinds of yummy whole food plant-based nutritious food to teach people how to make it and all complete with recipe books to take home. So if you happen to live in the Darling Downs area and you're keen to do that I'll be putting out some information soon on my newsletter if you would like to sign up for the newsletter, visit my website, mindbodyfood.net. You get a free wellbeing assessment when you sign up, and there'll also be a new ebook available free when you sign up very soon that I'm working on. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Come and have a look on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for awesome pictures of delicious food. And if you haven't made raw chocolate before and you're not sure how to do it, I'll actually put a link underneath this video of a basic yet delicious raw chocolate recipe to make at home for yourself. And the link will be underneath the video which will take you to my Facebook page so that you can then make your own. Thanks for watching today. Take care of you. Enjoy your chocolate making experience and I'll see you next time.